Hey, what's up, guys? Showing you how to get uh, the Jelly Bean on any Android device. This is the Galaxy S Avator or Giant Ride 3.3.6. 3. And so, as we see, here it is actually running uh, 4.1, and this is actually not an update for it. They had not officially released an update for it. There's the original. Well, there's the original search bar 4.1, and then we got EV over here, and you can tell that this is because if you hold down and you go to insert like widgets or whatever, it, it does take a little bit wired to load, and we'll just put in like the flashlight or whatever, and we can put up to a two over one and when you go to move it it gives you the little pluses and where you can actually put it at and so we'll just delete that and so as you can see it, it this is a lot different from uh, basically what I was using before this is way way newer and I'm going to show you guys how to get this so you're going to go to in, into the Google Play Store and in the Google Play Store, you're going to go hit search and you're going to hit Jelly Bean. Now, uh, the first app is uh, Jelly Bean Launcher. And it's got three and a half stars. And it actually does work really, really well. The one thing that I don't like about it is if it's uh, not one of the original, say, uh, wallpapers it zooms in on a specific part no matter what one just zooms and it makes it look very bad very very bad so as you can see I'm using one of the jelly bean ones so you know you can hold down you can add your shortcuts widgets folders and your wallpaper so like the wallpaper here you know you can change it to whatever you want basically but as I said it does zoom in on them and sometimes it runs really slow here but uh you can use any app that you've been using previously before so if we hold down that I had that widget on there previously and all my apps I had on there before are there and I switched it up a bit to give it more of a 2.3 feel because that is what I'm used to. And I think I'll s keep going with this. And, you know, so basically there's like Facebook, all that. You know, you can even access Eerie through the EV through there. I mean, it is just simple, easy, you know. Don't know what you do. You can uninstall, edit, or remove and we'll remove that and this is like any other one so basically see if I can find the camera because I have no camera button along the side on my phone so if you hold down it's going to take it over and you can edit right there and it works for any of them and you can adjust the size of all of them if you guys don't know that and then it will stop after so long anyways so usually how you can like hit the options and that will give you your wallpaper, manage app, system settings, and your launcher settings. It's basically the same in terms. You know, everything's the same here. I mean it works fairly well except for that one thing and I mean it does work a little bit slow at times. But the, that could be the phone. But this is really nice. I would recommend it. It is definitely better than what they say it is. So, you know, I would get it if I were you guys and, you know, just see how you like it. And if you like it, please give them a good review because I think they did a really good job on this. This is definitely really cool. And, uh, well, basically, once you have it downloaded and you go into something, say, we'll go into the Google Play Store. And you hit your home button, give you the option, and uh, you hit check always for allowing the jelly bean on there. And then you click on jelly bean, and then it will just set it up this way.
So, you know, that works out really well. And if you guys haven't already, I would like you to subscribe. Please like this video and like my Facebook page, the computer drop, and I'll put that in the link below. See you guys later.